see the start of the new season more clearly with sports eyewear from Norval Opticians. John, how do you ensure that you don't let the results of last weekend detract from the performance and the momentum that Gloucester currently have? Yeah, yeah, like we've been happy with the way we've been going, you know, obviously we're disappointed with not getting wins. We feel like we're in games and it's just that last little bit of executing a few plays and maybe cutting out a few penalties, staying a bit higher in opposition's 22, which will maybe get us the results. So talked about a few things and we're, we're keen to get into practice on Saturday. Is it similar sort of things to what have happened in other games where winning positions have been let slip, do you feel? Or is it a different issue? Uh, I think with the early in the year or sometimes last year, we just weren't in games. We were very poor, um, just lacked uh, edge to stay in, to, in tough games. But I think in the last four or five games, we've been right in there. Um, a chance to win. You know, we've played some tough teams the last four weeks. So, you know, those chances only come once or twice. And if you don't take them, you're on the wrong end. So we're not happy where we are. We're not happy with the results, but these things in our games we're happy with. And as long as we keep those going and add a few more layers to our game, we'll be happy and get a few more results. And unusually for you, Sinbin after conceding a penalty at a scrum. I mean, is that one that was just sort of a team one, you know, whoever's next just goes in the bin or, you know, was there anything specifically that you can do to remedy that in the future? Because it's so unusual for you. Yeah, I think it was just maybe a little, we had a few penalties, you know, I think it was 14-6 in the end of the game, 14 from the forwards. Um, and I think I'd just been in the, the ref's face a little bit, you know, I gave one at the breakdown, a couple that scrum before that. So, you know, he had already given us a warning, so one more and that was it. So um, it was disappointing not to be on the field. You know, it was a, a tough period for us right in the middle of the second half. Um, we'd done well not to really concede any points, but we should have lost that last 20 minutes, 6-3, which, you know, gave them a big enough buffer to hold up the game. Moving on, obviously Bristol this weekend, a derby. It's almost the perfect match, isn't it? Just to immediately change the focus. Yeah, it'll be tough too. You know, a, a local derby, we haven't performed mostly played our best rugby against teams that we should be beat but I think we've changed that perception and we train with a real edge to us that we hold ourselves to a high standard at training a real physical standard at training and we've had a short week so we're doing what we can do another good session today and you know guys are desperate just to get out there on Saturday and just keep our momentum going because of what happened against Wasps and also what the very young side did against Saracens in the Anglo-Welsh is there a sort of more of a feel-good factor about coming into playing a game at King's Home again now? No, boys always enjoy playing against King's Home. Uh, obviously, it's a home game for us. And there's no travel, I think. You know, the crowd's a good factor for us. You know, it was just some uh, bad results for us early in the year. So we always enjoy coming and play. And again, a chance to play at home, a chance to play well, express ourselves, be physical, play our game, and then hopefully that will put us in the position to win the game.